What's going on YouTube? It's Adam from Beyond the Grid. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to edit like this, just in time for summer. But if you close your eyes... So sticking with last week's theme of inspiration meets collaboration, I'm going to introduce you guys to this week's feature, Rianne. So Rianne sent me this photo that we're going to be editing this week from her trip that she was just recently on to Bali and we're going to be taking this photo and turning it into something like this. So this one's going to be a little bit more work for you guys so you're going to need to really pay attention to the RGB lines because we're going to be actually going in and singling each one out and adjusting those individually which I've never shown you guys really how to do. So if you guys are an Instagram influencer or an Instagram model or an Instagram photographer, you guys want to get featured on my channel, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that at the end of this video, so make sure you guys are staying tuned. But until then, let's jump into Lightroom and let's get started. Okay, so once we're in Lightroom, we're going to start this off by dropping our temperature a little bit just to cool it off. So let's drop this down by, let's say, minus 10. Uh, our 10, we're going to drop that down. Now let's go minus 10 as well. Contrast, we're going to bump that up just a little bit, let's say plus 19. Um, highlights, let's bring those up. Actually, let's bring those down. And then we'll raise our shadows to bring some of that back. Whites, let's bring those out. Uh, right about there. And our blacks, let's go to about, yeah, about 36 looks pretty good. Clarity, I wanted to bring that down just a little bit. Uh, vibrancy, I'm gonna bring that up. And our saturation, let's bring that down just about there. So for right now, we're going to leave the tone curves just because I told you guys at the beginning of this video that it's a little bit complicated and I want to leave it just to see what I can get this photo with without even adjusting that. So let's jump back in and I'm going to show you guys the HSLs and adjust everything else and then come back to that. So let's start here. So we're going to bring up our hue on our reds just a little bit. And oranges we're going to leave. Let's bring back our yellows down a little bit. And that's going to bring them more into the orange rather than the actual greenish yellow. So greens, we're going to bring those, um, let's bring them up a little bit. Let's say right about there, 15. Aquas, we're going to leave those for now. And then blues, we're going to bring those up. Purples, we're going to bring those up a little tiny bit. And our magentas, we're going to bring those down actually let's bring those up let's see where we can get that from saturation we're going to bring our reds down just really darpen out those colors mm, that looks pretty good oranges we're just going to drop those just a little bit and what that's going to do is it's going to really going to deepen out her tan a little bit so we don't really have to adjust it too much later um, let's go with minus 13 there and greens Let's go with 40. Aquas, we're going to bring those just up a little bit. Blues, the same thing. We'll bring those just up a little bit. Let's bring that up, let's say, yeah, plus three. Um, purples, we're going to drop those guys, let's say minus 10. And magentas, we're going to do the same thing. So if you guys want to go in increments of five when you guys are adjusting your HSLs, just hit the up or down key and it'll automatically go five plus or five negative. So HSLs, we're going to go, let's say, minus 15, so three times on the down arrow key. Um, orange, we're going to go minus, mm, let's go about there. Yellows, let's go minus mm, eight. Greens, we're not going to really touch. Aquas, we're going to bring those right down to, let's say, minus 48. Blues, we're going to bring those towards the aqua at a plus eight. So if you guys notice that with the aqua one, as well as the blue one, if you go this way, it's going to create more blue from the aqua. And if you go this way in the blue, it's going to create more of an aqua out of the blue. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so what we're going to do with the purples and magentas, let's drop out, let's say 15 on this one. So again, three down arrow keys. And magenta, let's go up 25, so five up arrow keys. Um, highlights, let's adjust these guys. Let's go with... Hmm... Let's go with right about there, and let's go with a light touch on it. So let's say a three. And then for our shadows, let's go a little bit darker. So let's go with our, let's go with 55 hue, and let's go with a saturation of about 
and let's leave that our balance we're gonna leave it about uh, let's leave it even for now we'll see where we get sharpening I want to sharpen this up a little bit so let's say plus 17 uh, radius we'll leave that all for now luminancy we'll leave that for now um, color let's bring that up a little bit that way it protects our color in our photo um, grain I honestly guys I hate adding grain to the photos so we're not going to touch that shadows we're going to leave there so this one here we're going to make it a little bit of an orange let's say plus 23 we're going to leave the saturation so let's go with the hue on this guy let's go with plus 30 and let's drop this let's say minus 25 blues we're going to drop these ones both let's say minus 35 and this guy we're going to play with a little bit Let's say right about there okay so now that that's done the photo looks pretty good as it is but i really want to make that tan pop as well as contrast it up a little bit so that's where your tone curves is going to come in so let's jump into the tone curves and stick with me guys this is going to be a little bit longer of a process than usual but yeah we'll get it so the tone curves we're going to do seven points on this one i think this is honestly one of my most pointed one so let's go three up top one two and three and oops i just realized i'm in my blue so i don't be touching the blue yet we're gonna go just with rgb so i'm gonna do one two three four five and then your bottom one six and seven so let's bring this up to about there i'll raise this guy let's say there pump this guy up there and let's bring this guy up to medium now at the top two we're just going to adjust it just a little bit so i'm going to bring this up just above the line this guy just above the line and then the top let's bring that down just a tiny bit okay so now we're going to go into the reds so this is where it's going to get really funky so this one here we're going to do three midpoint lines so we're going to do let's say one here let's go with about there Let's go with one about here. Let's bring that up to there. And one, let's say, right there. Okay, so now we have to go in. We actually have to adjust the green and blue. I know it looks really red right now. It's because we did just only play with the red. So let's go in. Let's do the green. So we're going to do the same thing here. So I want to drop this guy, let's say, right about there. Let's drop one here. Let's bring it right about um, let's bring it almost neutral. And let's bring one right about there. That looks pretty good. And last but not least, the blue. So same thing, let's bring it there. And yeah, right about there. Same thing here. And one last one, let's say, down a little bit right there. So did you guys see that? It really created a difference in our tan. It also made the blues pop, it made the oranges pop. That's what's hard about this part is people just don't understand that if you change the reds, the greens, and the blues individually, you can really adjust the photo and make it look completely what no one else has. So let's go up really quickly and let's, do a paintbrush on the ocean and let's change that to a more of a blue really create that blue to pop and create that contrast off of her so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to here to the brush for some reason all my stuff resets to this um, if you guys know how to fix that message me and hopefully you guys can help me out so we're going to hit the bracket key make it bigger we want to go auto mask because i just want the blue and we're just going to paint now as you guys can see i don't really know where i'm painting so what i'm going to do is hit o it's going to bring up the reds that way i can see where i'm painting so i'm not just randomly painting anywhere possible um let's get all of this and there and there there a little bit there a little bit the hat now i'm going to make it a little bit smaller by using the other bracket key the left bracket key come in here up there bam let's get that guy 
that guy, that one. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit O so we can get rid of it so we can see we're adjusting. Bring the temperature down a little bit. Let's say minus, yeah, that looks pretty good. We'll leave that where that is. Bring down the exposure just a little bit. Let's say minus 30. And then shadows, let's bump those guys up. Our whites, let's raise those guys. And sharpness, let's bring that up by like nine. Okay, so let's see a before and let's see an after. So as you guys can see, it's not that hard to edit like this. It's a little bit overwhelming. I understand when I first started with Lightroom, it was honestly, I thought I was gonna throw up. It was the worst thing in the world. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I was watching YouTube videos. These guys were kind of showing me things, but honestly, it's a lot of playing around. So hopefully you guys can get out there, get some shots done, play around with it and learn something. So if you guys are an Instagram photographer or an Instagram model, shoot me a DM on Instagram and I'll try to get you guys featured on my channel. So if you guys found this video helpful at all, make sure you guys are hitting that like button. And if you guys are not a subscriber, I mean, why aren't you? Hit that subscribe button. And until the next video, take care, everybody.